Let's talk about the Camaro because I know that some of you mentioned maybe sometime next year I can bring on additional help because probably the most neglected car in this. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be something completely different. This is not going to be a regular just modification installation video. We're taking a break from that. Today's going to be kind of more like a vlog style video just to give you updates on the cars and also to show you that surprise that I mentioned in one of my previous videos. I'll show you that in just a bit we are back here where it all started where my channel started we are back in my home garage it is a bit of a mess <laughs> i think a bit of a mess is a little bit of an understatement but i just want to keep it real with you guys today and just show you the current situation because i've been extremely busy with work and just so many other things and standing here it actually feels a lot smaller than what i used to see it and how i used to picture it i can't believe that there used to be six cars in this garage at one point it is a complete mess but i have good reason for it so here we still have some shelby parts we just have tons and tons of random boxes here we have some raptor tires and you can see that there's a lot of just christmas decorations we have a whole bunch of boxes here that had christmas stuff we have a whole bunch of tools and lights here you guys can see a little bit out there with the decorations so it's been quite a lot these tires here that are for the raptor actually got them I, I can't even, i don't know it's been a long time now probably like just a few weeks they're long overdue for the raptor but i just haven't had time to take the raptor to get these new tires on and <laughs> this is this is a lot different than how you guys used to see it but it's just honestly gotten really busy this time of year i'm still working my full-time job i know that some of you guys have been asking me that and yes i'm still working and then i also went on vacation not so long ago we had some friends come over here but before that it was time for christmas so i actually went to the storage and pretty much all of these boxes here and then just here towards the back all of these lights i took them out of the storage i brought them here decorated inside and then outside the house then it friends came over it was time for vacation by the time i realized it i didn't have any time to put this back in the storage and by now i'm like you know what i rather just keep this here because in a few weeks have to remove the christmas decorations and there's no point of taking all of these boxes which is a lot a lot of boxes back to the storage when i just need to remove it and then take it back again all of these banners that are still hanging here because you guys already know that you guys see my bare walls in my shop so i need to take these down and need to take them to the shop i'm hoping that i can do this sometime this week because i really want these uh, up on the shop and on the walls and I can actually have them for my videos because I just think it looks a lot more aesthetic than just the plain white walls. This is the surprise that I was talking to you guys about. For those of you that have received my 2021 calendar already, you may have seen it for the month of February. Some of you may have been like, what is that or whose is that? So it's mine. I actually got this the day before I got the giveaway card, so the day before the Mustang GT, so it's been quite a while since October. So this is my 2021 Can-Am Maverick X3 Turbo RS. I am so, so happy, so in love with it. So now let me just give you a quick walk around of it and explain to you why it looks like this with these lights. Why it has Christmas lights. So here in Arizona, around this time of year, around the time it gets closer to Christmas, there's certain cities that they do a Christmas parade. So it's mainly UTVs, ATVs. There's a few bikes and then also a few cars that join. So it's pretty much just lighting it all up with different christmas lights just getting as creative as you can so this is the reason why it has all of these christmas lights the parade was like about a week ago but this took a very long time <laughs> to have all of these lights here which i'll show you how it looks or i'll probably just insert a clip here because it does look really cool with all of the lights turned on moving on so the first thing that i really like about this specific model is that it comes with bead locks so it's really good because I not only am driving this on the street, but the main purpose of this is to take it to the desert and have some really, really, really nice time. I've taken it to the desert already many times. That's why it doesn't look new anymore. It's pretty dirty. You can see that there's dirt and sand here. The seats aren't that dirty just because, again, we had the Christmas parade, so they were wiped down. But you can see it's just pretty much dirty. And speaking about having a lot of fun with this car or this UTV, Took it to the desert, already has a flat, so it's been patched. But one thing that I'm looking to do in the future are, is getting different wheels 
for a street setup because this is mainly for the desert so i really want to get just different wheels for the street because i also drive it on the street so apart from all of the christmas lights it came exactly like this so it does have a few extra upgrades than you would get because the dealer the dealer had already added all these little extras for example this half windshield here i love love the seats here i just love the color of this completely these are bucket seats they have these harnesses so it really holds you in place really really good matter of fact i have a few video clips that i'll probably just insert here of when i took it to the desert it was when our friends visited and we just took them out in the desert and it was just a really really fun time another thing that i'm looking at to do in the future are full doors which i already have it i just bought the inserts here because it kind of bothers me just because like i said i do drive it in the street and some things can fall out here another upgrade is this roof so they usually come with like a plastic roof so this is a different material it's more sturdy so that was another upgrade there and let me just show you here towards the back ignore the generator that was there for <laughs> again the christmas lights and not like you're having a good view from here but i'll probably just insert another clip here of how it looks <laughs> so you guys can see it a little bit better but so it has a sound system i know it's a little bit unnecessary but again it was already like this so i thought okay that's pretty cool so it has this sound system the other cool feature about this is that these uh, speakers light up so i use them they change color and i use them and turn them on in the christmas parade so that was also a nice feature and it has this light bar too that they added you really can't see it here with this happy holidays but there's a light bar so in case you take it to the desert or you're driving somewhere at night where you need to turn it on you really can't see then you can always turn that on and you have more light the reason why i didn't show this on my channel any sooner because again i've had this for already two months or so ever since october before i got the giveaway car the mustang gt is because this is more of a personal vehicle to me i've wanted this ever since i moved to arizona which has been years now moved back to florida came back still wanted it because you see a lot of people here in arizona driving this around whenever we've gone to the desert with a raptor and this this just fits in those tighter spaces in the desert because again the raptor is fun but there's just some places that it doesn't fit because it's just so narrow and the raptor being such a large truck and and also i drive this here around in the street locally there's many people here that do that so it's just a lot a lot of fun here at the house since i don't have my cars if i'm not driving the raptor then i'm driving this and i absolutely love it so again that's why i haven't really shown it here on the channel i'm not planning to do anything crazy to it probably not much in regards to any performance modifications i do plan on doing the ones that i showed you guys and the ones that i spoke to you about right now that i just mentioned and probably just other ones that they recommend that would benefit it when taking it to the desert as you can see it's pretty dirty but i've just been enjoying it i probably will make a few videos here and there just taking it out to the desert just enjoying it and driving because once i take it to the desert it's just like a dirt track to me there and it's just unbelievably fun with the times that i've taken it there back at the shop ignore this mess right here because this is the day after the exhaust install for the mustang gt so i have yet to clean this up but i will but on to the car updates like i promised so first let's start off with the red eye so to be honest, I have been neglecting this car just because I've been focusing on other projects such as the Mustang GT and the Shelby, which I'll go into that in a bit, but I just sent over the logs to HHP. Hopefully it's good. If not, then they'll make some changes and then I'll have to send them more logs, but I am planning to take it to either its first quarter mile what i mean by first is after all the modifications that it currently has its first quarter mile event or its first half mile event sometime in january i'm planning <laughs> i'm really hoping that the car is ready by then which it should now that i sent over the logs and then after that i probably will take it a few times just so i can get used to it and i can get comfortable and then we can continue with the plans for it which is just a complete drag build and then just add more power to this but like i said i really want to take it a few times to the quarter mile and the half mile so i can feel comfortable with the car and then just 
actually just learn more about it, how it is now before then proceeding to more power. Let's talk about the Camaro because I know that some of you mentioned in my previous videos, which you guys have a good eye, that I removed the wheels and I put back the stock wheels. That's what it has right now. So the reason I did that is because I changed it out for a track day just because it was a, such a long time since I took this car to the track and now it having a lot more power, a lot more aero. I just felt a lot more comfortable taking it here with the stock wheels just because this is what I'm used to. I do plan on changing it out later on and as I get more comfortable then putting on the other wheels with the race slicks. But for now, I'm going to leave it like this just for a bit and I also like the way it looks so it doesn't look that bad. I've always been a fan of these wheels. Other than that, there's really nothing else that I plan doing to the Camaro the only few little upgrades that I plan on doing is probably towards the inside so I think the next thing in the near future would probably be roll cage different seats and a harness and then we're pretty much done with it let's move on to the GTR so initially you guys knew that Chris wanted this car at least the setup just for the track meaning road course which that's the only thing that he's been using this car for but he's had a change of heart ever since now he wants something versatile something that can work for the road course and also that something that is fast in a straight line so there are plans coming for this car so the plans right now are working on suspension that'll fit both fast in a straight line and also at the road course slightly bigger turbos and also 18s all around with meaty tires so that's how he plans on driving it in the street for the track meaning the road course still need to figure that out as far as the wheel setup but i am so excited for this because now it's going to be a really fast gtr car off so now it's going to be a really fast <laughs> GTR, so I can't wait. So all of this will happen sometime next year because right now my primary focus is the giveaway car, which is the Mustang GT, and also getting the engine in the Shelby because it's been way too long and that car just needs to live again. So next is probably the most neglected car in this entire shop, not by me, but by Chris, <laughs> which is the M3. So in regards to the update, I don't really have an update for it because Chris doesn't really know what to do with this car because he had initially thought that instead of having the GTR being the 100% track build, at least for the road course, then he would make this one a just complete track build. But it just, it's just, it looks so nice. It has that nice red interior inside that it's just too nice to like completely gut it out and turn it into a track build. So he doesn't know. He doesn't know what to do with it yet. I mean, this is just his antique. This is his precious, like probably his most treasured car. And it's pretty much a garage queen in this shop. And in Arizona, because back in Florida, he used to drive this car, but then he got a Raptor, not this one, but he had a black Raptor and then he kind of stopped driving this as much and then he drove the Raptor. So I don't really know. I know that it does have some maintenance issues that need to be addressed. Hopefully those can be addressed sometime next year in 2021, but I can't make any promises in regards to this car. Then we move on to another neglected car. This one is my fault, which is the Camry. So, I mean, it, it, this is just a project in itself. It doesn't have that many issues for what it is. It just has that steering pump that I have yet to replace. And the biggest thing is just the paint. So I'm thinking hopefully just sometime next year. I mean, like I said before, my primary focus is the GT and the Shelby, then I can focus on this. I mean, this will be my first paint job ever, but let's see, hopefully sometime in 2021, I just really need to get that Shelby up first and then we can focus on the rest of these cars. I know that there's just many projects pending, but I mean, it's just me and with the limited time that I have, I can only do so much. So what I've done is I've just shifted, well, I've kind of just shifted the way I work and just focus on one project and then complete that and then move on to the next, which is pretty much what I'm doing now with the Mustang GT and the Shelby because in that I'm just kind of like running around in circles and not completing any project which was kind of like what was happening before so those are my two main projects now I want to get those finished first and then we can move on to the rest here I'm thinking that you know what maybe sometime next year I can bring on additional help because like I said it's just been me sometimes Chris helps me but I feel like I really need someone else here to come and bring on the channel so then 
I can get these projects out of the way with the additional help and then we can also start with new ones. So the Raptor also has a few more parts, a few more upgrades, but again, all of those parts have been sitting just in that corner all the way over there. So that's going to happen next year as well, except for those tires because it badly needs tires. So that's happening within the next few days. So for now, again, still coming to you with that Mustang content because it's been over a year without the Mustang content. So we're going to finish those two projects and then move on to the rest of the projects here, which is going to be a lot of fun. I have a lot of work. I just don't have the time. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.